In my previous videos, the ESP32 controller was used as a web server using AJAX and WebSocket technologies to broadcast sensor measurements to receiving clients. In this video, ESP Now protocol is used to enable ESP32 controllers to communicate with each other without using Wi-Fi. The ESP Now protocol developed by Expressive allows multiple devices such as the ESP32 to communicate without Wi-Fi. Pairing between devices is required and the connection is secure and it is peer-to-peer -peer, and no handshake signals is required. This protocol allows either simplex or duplex communication between devices and the communication can either be unicast or multicast no broadcasting is supported by this protocol. This protocol is ideal for smart light control and remote control of devices and sensors. For more technical information about this protocol, please refer to the user manual available at the Expressive website. In this video, Unicast simplex communication is established between two ESP32 controllers this being the transmitter and this being the receiver. On the transmitter side of the system we have a 10k pot connected to analog line A0 and on the receiver side we have a OLED screen connected to the I squared C bus of the controller. On the transmitter side the analog input through the 10k pot is translated to 12-bit digital values between 0 and 4095. These values are then transmitted using ESP Now protocol to the receiver and displayed on the OLED screen. Finally, to establish pairing between the transmitter and the receiver, the receiver MAC address must be known and stored within the ESP32 transmitter. And now for a quick demonstration. Let's have a quick look at the uh, sketches used in this project. First, we'll start with the ESP Now transmitter sketch, which was referenced from the website Random Nerd Tutorials. We need to include these two header files, one for the ESP Now and the other for the Wi-Fi. Next, we need to store the MAC address of the receiver within this one-dimensional array, and we can get the MAC address by using this sketch. Next we define the structure and within the structure we will declare this integer variable pot value to store the potentiometer values. And then we will declare this uh, structure variable to be sent using ESP now protocol. Next we need to define this function on data sent which is a callback function that is executed every time uh, the ESP32 sends a packet to the receiver. And uh, here within the function uh, the status of the transmission is indicated whether the delivery is a success or a failure. Inside the setup function, we enable the Wi-Fi mode of the ESP32 and then we check the initialization status of the ESP Now protocol. Next, we need to register on data sent callback function with ESP Now and then we need to pair the uh, transmitter ESP32 with the receiver ESP32 given the receiver MAC address. And this part of the code confirms the pairing between the transmitter and the receiver is successful or not. Inside the loop function, we get the pot value and store it in the structure variable send data of member pot value. And then we send this. Uh, structure variable using ESP now protocol and then we check whether the transmission was successful or not now a quick look at the receiver sketch for the ESP now again the reference is random nerd tutorials 
We need to include uh, these libraries, uh, one for the ESP now, one for the Wi-Fi, one for the YRI squared C communication, and uh, also two libraries for the OLED display. Next, we declared this object so we can access the OLED uh, display. And then we define this structure, which should match the transmitter structure. And we declare this uh, structure variable so that we can store the received data uh, into this structure variable. Next, we need to define this callback function on data received so that the received data can be stored in the structure variable we have declared. Inside the setup function, we initialize the OLED display and then we enable the Wi-Fi mode and then we initialize the ESP now and then we register the callback function with the ESP now protocol. Finally, within the loop function, we continuously display the received uh, potentiometer values on the OLED screen. In a future video, ESP Now technology will be used to allow two ESP32 controllers to communicate in duplex mode. Thank you for watching.